Hi guys, my name is Ryan, the Frugal Analyst, and in this video, I'll share my Tesla solar panel performance after one year and compare it to expectations and let you guys know how much money I save. So my solar system costs around $10,200 net after tax credit and rebate. Uh, my panels is rated at 3.6 kilowatt and I was initially promised over 5,500 kilowatt hour for the first year generation. Now my panels was completed on November 2017, but I'll use my entire 2018 performance for comparison. So in 2018, I got a total of above 6,000 kilowatt hour or around 10% better than the promise rate. So that's great. But do Tesla lowball their estimate? Well, uh, I'm not sure. So my system is in San Diego, and I also have a friend in San Diego with Tesla Solar, and he got 10% less than expected. Now, I don't know if that's because there's clouds lingering around his area longer throughout the year. Maybe his house is closer to the mountains. Uh, I'm not a weather expert, but uh, all I'm saying is that if you're in the same city, your performance can still vary uh, in comparison to Tesla's estimate. And in addition, you know, I might just be lucky this year uh, because if I look at the volatility month over month and if I even go further and look, look at the volatility day by day, uh, your solar production can be very high or very low. Um, so I might just get lucky this year, but I'll, I'll take the 10% better than expected. Uh, next is how much money did I save? So my ut utility company SDG&E have a very complicated pricing structure. So I will try my best to simplify. So I exported my monthly electrical usage and matched them with the different tiers and season prices. So SDG&E has one of the most expensive electricity price in the nation. Tier one prices starts at 23 cents for winter and 27 cents for the summertime. At tier two, the price jumps to 40 cents uh, for winter and 47 cents for summer per kilowatt hour. So it's a huge difference. And at tier two, it is significantly more expensive. In addition, the prices tend to increase every six months and I am seeing an average of 5% increase per year. Uh, I placed my calculation in the description below if you want to download. So let me go over the spreadsheet to see how much money I save. Uh, I won't bore you too much with the spreadsheet, but net net without the solar, I would actually pay around $2,300. Uh, with solar, I only paid around 300. So that's around $2,000 in benefit. And that really puts my break even just above five years. Uh, it's not a bad investment, uh, this is actually better than I originally expected and I would say it's a necessary investment if you're in San Diego, especially since I bought my Tesla Model 3. Uh, without the solar, the tier 2 rates, it's a huge killer and you're basically going to end up paying similar to a typical gas guzzler if you, you're paying the tier 2 rates. Next I want to talk about some annoyances. So. As a, as the frugal analyst, I really hate inefficiencies. And one thing that is really annoying is that my inverter actually max out at 3.3 kilowatt. So my panels is rated at 3.6 kilowatt, but my inverter max out at 3.3. So during summer times, there's been time where I see my en energy generation and it's 3.3 kilowatt. And that makes me a little bit annoyed because I know that my panels can do more, but it is being maxed out because the inverter capability. Uh, now, the difference between getting 3.3 and 3.6, uh, it's not as much. I would say that I'm probably wasting less than 50 kilowatt hour per year, uh, but I just wish that Tesla told me earlier that my inverter has a lower rated power than my total panels. Uh, I, I mean, it, overall, it's not a big deal, but it's just kind of annoying to see that my panels is, has more potential, but the inverter could not deliver the, the maximum uh, panel potential, I guess. Uh, 
but overall you, you know the system generated better than I expected so you know it's not really a big deal uh, as far as issues I did have one issue uh, where my inverter did not record any energy generation to Tesla now it was producing power but the reporting was broken so I had to call Tesla and reset my system uh, this took around 15 minutes uh, but otherwise it worked out well uh, just uh, switch some buttons in the inverter itself so that's about it for my one year review uh, if you're interested in getting solar the prices of solar have come down and it will continue to go down over time as technology improves uh, I would recommend getting it before the end of 2019 to get the maximum 30% federal tax credit and if you're going with Tesla use my referral link in the description or email me to get the five-year extended warranty and if you haven't watched my solar investment calculation and Tesla install video please watch it in my channel uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time